you, you might want to have back for this one, uh, mate. Smell that. Lemons. It's like I always say when life gives you lemons. It's probably ghosts. Stink lemons. Usually someone has called you because they've got a ghost in the house, but so that you know they physically are seeing it. Yeah, yeah, well I mean, yeah, you know if it's a demon, just just keep using the spray. Mm. Yeah, yeah, just keep the kids' possession collars on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, tight, just short throttling. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Actually, we yeah, we don't use the term exterminator anymore. It's uh, pest control. So yeah, we're a PPC. It's been a strong emphasis now on, you know, dealing with it uh, in a humane way. Whereas before they do exorcisms, which is just really, really cruel. I mean, they've already died once, you know? Often quite barbarically, so, yeah. I started as like a temp and then just, they kept me on. I really don't like those Japanese girl ghosts. Oh, shit. We're in the northwest of England, where do they even all come from, you know? There's just something really haunting about watching Eamon Holmes, Ugh, ancient demonic spirit crawling out the telly. No, I don't like that at all. Do not like that at all. You're getting water everywhere, love. You do know this. What are some signs of ghosts that people at home should watch out for? I think a big sign of ghosts, a really big sign of ghosts, is seeing ghosts. <laughs> You're right, mate. Dark. It's nothing but darkness. Victorian chimney sweeps as well. I mean, those are just tragic. You know, really breaks your heart, you know, telling me you know they're dead. What is the last memory you have? Like the last physical memory that you have? Well, I was, I was cleaning one of my master's chimneys, as I do, and uh, I feel this warmth under me. Master must have lit a fire to keep me going. You're dead, mate. You, you died in a chimney. You only lit a fire underneath. You, you suffocate or you burn. You, you're dead. We had to get um, Bob Monkhouse out of the ITV studios, actually. Yeah, he's a lovely guy, but he just kept wandering into shots. Started presenting shows, you know. So we just had to kind of ask him to leave politely. I don't know where he is now. I think he's, he's doing a haunting somewhere in Bath, I believe. But uh, yeah, he was nice. He was a nice, nice guy. Nice ghost. Where's well, just a stopgap? I'd like to try and get a trade, maybe be a Sparky or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's not a permanent solution, mate, but I think, uh, at least for the time being. Uh... Hands and mouth, hands and mouth.